Seven road club uh, hill climb on the weekend, Hinton Hill. I got like two minutes 13, uh, 473 watts, as you can see, which is about 7.6 watts per kilo. Anyway, here we go. Bang it out. Sorry, the power's a little bit delayed. I couldn't really sync it well because my GPS was all over the place. Anyway, this hill um, is pretty consistent at the beginning. A uh, good 10% or so, maybe gets steeper at some parts, up to 13, 14%, but nothing crazy. And then really flattens off in the second half. So I wanted to pace this and just go really hard at the beginning, try and hold, you know, maybe 550 watts at the beginning and then just flatten off. I didn't really do that. I held 530, I think, for the first minute, which is fine. Uh, and then the second half, I just, you know, didn't really do very well. Anyway, I was about one kilo heavier than last week uh but i did 12 more watts so basically i did about 7.6 watts per kilo this week and did 7.8 watts per kilo last week so not ideal but anyway it's chill um my power is going up which i guess is the main thing um my weight is sort of it doesn't i mean it varies a little bit i guess here's steep ish but not too bad um but my power is really not good the road was very wet today um well actually not today but on the on the day um so i was running quite low pressures i had a, um six and 70 on the front and 65 on the back because most of the time i'm out the saddle so actually the back you don't have as much weight as you normally would do um there's there was some good crowds here considering it was quite wet some good cowbell action going on it does get to 20 percent to be fair maybe it's steeper than i thought but you can see the gps speed is really really messed up so we've now got past all the steep part and this is the bit that really really is horrible because it's pretty flat. It says it's 11%, but it's, it's a little less, I'd say. It's more like 6 or 7%. Uh, and it's just so hard to like put 500 watts down at like 6%. It's really, really hard. And I just couldn't do it. I just really lost a lot of time. I haven't looked on the comparison to compare to other people, like of how, where my splits were. But I'm, I'm sure I lost a lot of time here. As you can see, the watts are really dropping out at this moment in time. Um, and I just didn't, don't think I gained enough time in the bank to be able to do this. Um, so yeah, I, if I was going to pace this again, I'd go even harder at the beginning. Um, the other thing is my pedals keep unclipping. So it's really like worrying, trying to go absolute full gas, like really low cadence because I didn't want to unclip like I did um, on one of my first hill climbs. Um, but anyway, there's the light is at the end of the tunnel. Um, you basically get over this little ramp and then down you go into the dip. And um, that's pretty much it. That is the climb. Very short. My warm up was better this time for sure. Um, I definitely like was more ready for the warm up and really tried to just be a bit more sort of cooked, like not cooked, but just make sure I was really on form. But I still think I could do have more, even more of an intense warm up to make sure I was really raring to go. Um, but anyway, it's good practice. I've got two next weekend, which is going to be exciting. Um, and I'm going to go through my warm up a bit more in a later video because I feel like a lot of people struggle with that, especially me. Um, and some people do it really well, some people don't do it really well, um, but I will have a video on that. So cheers for watching, hope you did enjoy. I'll leave the Strava link for this activity below. Um, and I'll, I think I came probably top 20 with me, my prediction, um, but yeah, nothing, nothing mega. Anyway, I'll see you in the next vid.